Hello, this is Sage, the Balloon Sage, and this Balloon Sage video is a brisk lesson on how to create this unique balloon heart scepter. I'm going to be demonstrating some tricky techniques, so if you're skilled enough to create this, you also would likely prefer I throw the info at you fast. So, let's get right into it. This model is formed by one 350, that's going to be the center, two 6-inch hearts for the top and bottom, and four 260s, I'm going to be using white, to make the rest. We begin with a nightmarish technique I call the strawberry twist. This tough as nails twist begins by placing a knotted piece of balloon inside a six inch heart and then inflating it. Now, trapping a knot internally on a balloon is nothing new, but the placement of the knot is. Make sure it's inflated properly. You need to somehow grab the knot in the center of the heart's top, like this. I like to pinch the bottom. I like to pinch the bottom. It'd be hard. I'm going to do this off camera really quick, but basically I'm bouncing this into the center here. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Go to the side. Let me see if actually. There we go. I've got it trapped. Oh, I got it. Okay. And once you've managed to subdue your tiny foe, Tie a scrap around it extremely tightly and finish with a nice double knot. Inflate your 350 and tie it to that part. You want to make sure there's a little bit of room on this nozzle because we're going to have two layers above this. Then we're going to make two pinch twists. Keep everything in place. Two. Oh, yes. Kind of flat. And two. One of them should maybe be a little bit bigger than the other. And that one will go in the back. Now, we add our first 260. And here's how we do, here's the secret to how I did this. Um, make a pinch twist. This is just a combination of loops and cylinder twists and pinch twists. So, pinch twist, you know, to the back, so that would be the thinner one in the front, so here. And you're just going to make a loop all around. Kind of snug, but not too tight. And tie it in the back. You're going to come down, it's a travel band. you can actually adjust so you can keep everything straight. You can adjust back and forth. And you going to come down, I'm going to make a bubble, about that size. And while holding in this arm, I'm able to use both hands to make the cylinder twist that is needed. So I measure down, this looks good. Again, a little pinch twist. And a loop. One more of these. Make sure they're all even too. That looks better. This one's a little too small. Make it bigger. of this heart wand is up to you. Here I've used four levels, but you can make it as long or as short as you want. Um, but I'm going to teach you how to make this one. So we're going to make another bubble, same size, and try to make all this stuff uh, <laughs> go together. Another little, twist. another little pinch twist. And another loop. time. And when you come down here, you want to make two more of those. Uh, actually, you know what? 
Let's make three. Two regular sized ones and then a little tiny one to go right in the middle. I think that looks the best. So, one. Oh, take two. Two. that second heart. Not too full on this one. Just a little bit. Tie it kind of up toward the uh, bottom of the heart where it's inflated so it will uh, retain its shape. Those curves. And tie it into those pinch twists. things off, we create the 260 heart. You're going to tie your final 260s, knot them together, stick it through this pinch twist. You can tie it around too if you want to make it super secure. Now although I feature this model predominantly in the background for this tutorial, I'm going to teach you a little bit different version. So go about four fingers up, maybe a little less, just enough so that you can reach about here. And uh, make, let's see, I think it's a single pinch twist. Just like that. And do the same thing on the other side. And pinch twist. And come up here, and I would measure off maybe eight or nine fingers, so I'll go with eight on one. And we're going to go through the back. Tie into that pinch twist. Keep the longer with the loom. And come in the front. Right? Touching that part. Nice and snug. And coming up. Perfect. Construct the heart. We're going to, you know what? Let's make one more pinch twist on each side. Just to keep things secure. Flatten them out so that the balloon is actually coming out through them at an angle. And once we measure off, let's see, what do we want this cylinder twist to be? I think 18 fingers. Let's see. Actually, no, seven hands. Yeah, that's perfect. Seven hands. And tie it in. Top. Now you can cut off the straps, of course. This one, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You do want enough for two tiny pinch twists, though. So make sure you make those before you tie it in. Sorry. And just tie that portion in, too. Creating the heart shape. As always, thank you for joining me on this tutorial. I had a lot of fun with these heart wands. Now, if you like what you see here, check out my channel. I've got a ton of tutorials, over 100 videos, and a new one every four days. So please subscribe, please like this video, and I'll see you soon.